finish the grass of sparrow's tail sequence. So from here, turn over, roll back, sink, press, sink, rise, sink, push, sink, rise, hands separate a little bit, and sink. The next part is going to be called hold the bagua fish. So from this position, we rise. I'm going to turn the right foot, put some weight on it, turn the left foot, and I go out to about 45 degrees. Okay? So let me show from a different direction. From here, I do the push, rise, sink, weights on the rear foot. I'm going to rise, I'm going to turn my right foot, shift my weight on it, turn my left foot, and turn to about 45 degrees left of your center. Okay, so the next part is grass, I'm sorry, hold the bagua fish. So from here, sink, turn, and this is called holding the bagua fish. So in this position, what we're doing is we have, this arm makes a nice curve, this hand closes up, and we try to touch all the fingers. If you can't, that's fine. Try to touch at least three fingers. Maybe if you can touch all four, that's good. And then the wrist is bent. So again, from here, rise, sink. Remember the last thing I said is turn to about 45 degrees. That's the point where you're going to sink onto the left leg, and that's where the left hand's gonna come under, turn palm up, the right hand is going to close. Okay, watch again. I push, sink, turn, right hand closes, left hand goes down, and sink. So the left hand's gonna be below waist level, Right hand, the fist part is going to be by your chest, but it's not against your body, okay? So it's out a little bit. Elbow is relaxed. A lot of times you'll watch Tai Chi pictures or see Tai Chi pictures and people are like this. People who pose and you don't want to do that in Tai Chi. You want to be relaxed. Relax your shoulder, relax your elbow. Shoulder is not up. We're not tense. We want to learn how to relax. And it takes some time to get aware of your body to do this. So it's practice that does this. Okay, so from another view. So I do my push and sink. I rise, I turn my right foot, put some weight on it, turn my left foot, and then I sink and hold the bagua fish. Okay, so the next part is to carry the bagua fish. So I'll face so you can see. I do my push, sink, turn, and hold the bagua fish. From here, I rise. The first part is just to rise. You don't move your arms. Rise, and then I'm going to shift my weight onto my right leg. I'm going to sink and turn, and my right hand is going to swing out, like so, and then sink some more. So the right hand, let's go look at this. The right hand just travels out like this, okay? just swings out. The left hand, which is palm up, is going to turn upward into a ward off position. And we end up with the fingers of the left hand pointing towards the wrist of the right hand. We have like a circle right here, okay? So from here, I rise, sink onto my right leg, turning my left foot, and then settle back. This hand comes up a little bit, points towards the wrist, okay? from the push. I push, rise, sink, turn, and sink. Right hand forms a hook. Rise, carry the bagua fish, then sink and turn, and sink some more. Okay, another view. So from the push, Rise, hands separate, turn, and sink. Rise, sink and turn. 
Okay, so that's holding the bagua fish and carrying the bagua fish from here, sink and turn. In the next video, we'll look at single whip. Okay, so to look at the hands again, from here, I push, turn, sink, hold the bagua fish, rise, watch my arms, sink and turn, and sink some more.